at this point, I don't know if I should be impressed or if I should be afraid. No, I'm just playing. But <laughs> the Boogeyman apparently has some more explanation to not like his music video. And this man is about to break it down. I don't know how to pronounce the channel, but I think it's XZV. You want to check out the original video? You know what to do. Let's get straight into it. Hey, Kendrick Lamar. He's from a city called Compton. This is their city hall I've seen in the video. Wait, I thought he was from Los Angeles. Well, Compton is part of the greater Los Angeles area, so he still says he's from Los Angeles, which is why this clown appears in Kendrick Lamar's video. He's a Los Angeles legend named Tommy the Clown who keeps kids off the streets through dance. He also invented a popular dance called crumping. Kinda. This is his dance crew. They're wearing red, white, and blue to symbolize America versus Canada. But also to symbolize these two groups of individuals that didn't like each other for a very long time. Hey, you know who else was part of this group? Kendrick Lamar. Just kidding. Kinda. Listen closely. Don't make the same mistake as Drake. Rapper YG, as Drake said, grew up as a full member of the Red Group. But see, Kendrick Lamar grew up as an affiliate of the red group, meaning that he grew up on a certain block as to where all his friends love that color red and his family members love that color red. Meaning that the red people will always have Kendrick's back. So when Drake tried to put them against each other, it showed how clueless he was about Los Angeles and street culture, really. So why'd you have to correct him? By showing up in all of Kendrick Lamar's concerts and videos. Like this guy, DJ Mustard, who made the beat for Not Like Us. He's also from Compton, but get back on track. We're talking about Kendrick. Just kidding, we're talking about Steve Lacey, also from Compton. That's why he performed at Kendrick's concert. Out of the greaters from a neighborhood like right next to Compton, and that's why he performed. Russell Westbrook's from the same neighborhood as Tyler, the creator, which is why he hopped on stage and LeBron James didn't, because LeBron James understood this is a Los Angeles thing. Also, why DeMar DeRozan hopped on stage? A for sure Hall of Famer basketball player who grew up in Compton, played for a little bit in Toronto, Canada, where Drake's from, but came back home to Compton. Which brings us to Dave Free. I don't know if this is the same reference, but it looks good. Also, Compton native, Kendrick Lamar's childhood friend, Drake tried to put him against each other, but they're like, nah, we good. Which is also why he brought his family, saying, nah, we good. They just don't like the spotlight. Which is also why she's wearing this shirt, because Drake accused Kendrick of doing something to her. If you don't know what this shirt is called, look it up in the comments. Drake essentially lied about everything, but what you need to understand is Drake and Kendrick are from two very different places. Drake also said, hey, your label probably hates you. Kendrick said, no, they don't. They're right here. But why Drake said that is because usually in the music industry if you leave your label something bad probably happened it was a fair guess but what Kendrick is trying to say and what has been trying to say it's not always about the fame it's not always about the money this whole thing is not even about Drake it's about hip-hop which is the black community especially your community which is why Tyler and them came back home to perform with them which is, is that Roddy Rich? which is why old hip-hop videos would always bring the neighborhood out always drove around the city always got food at that neighborhood spot that everyone loved. This is what Pusha T was trying to tell you guys with this picture, and this is why princess can't join the Powerpuff Girls. You can't buy your way in, you can't fight with all the members, and you can't just say you're a Powerpuff Girl. There's a little more to it. And this is why your favorite rapper's favorite rapper is Kendrick Lamar, because although he could have spent his whole career making hits, he decided to make music to uplift his community. But they still bangers, though. He said your favorite rapper, favorite rapper is Kendrick Lamar. How do y'all feel about that? But uh, yeah, it was a little quick breakdown of it was basically, man, it was like some 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 for us by stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and I was just playing like Kendrick said in the song. But anyways, if you want to see more reactions like this? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, it's not much to say. He basically broke it down. Like this was an LA thing, which is why LeBron didn't hop on stage, um, and, I, and a lot of those people did. So. Um, how do y'all feel about that? Do you feel like he's accurate with this information that he's presenting? If you got some stuff wrong, um, comment down in the comment section. Also, um, make sure you hit that sub button because uh, we got a lot more to cover. So let's 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 just roll on to the next one. If you're new to this channel, hit the sub button, hit the like button, comment what you want to see.